All right, race fans. Welcome to Turn Left TV. Are you ready for some high speed action tonight? Step on the gas. All right, race fans. Welcome to Nazareth Speedway. This is Turn Left TV, and I'm your host, Heath Johnson. The High Octane Racing League Bushwhacker Series visits a very challenging track here today. It's got five turns, man, and it's Nazareth Speedway. Oh, no, it's a dog leg. No, I think it's a fifth turn. It's 130 laps here, that's for sure. Race number five of the season, and these guys have their work cut out for them. Who's got what it takes to bring home the victory here at Nazareth? There's only one way to find out, and that's watching right here on Turd Left TV. Well, we've got a classic, classic speedway here tonight in the Bushwhacker Series. A very challenging one, man. Be up and be up on the wheel tonight. 130 laps here, and it is race number five. All right, thank you so much for coming in here to Turn Love TV. Already made a mistake right there, see? Art of Vieta joining us in the chat, Paul Brown and Givaldo. We say sorry to Art for not being able to get in here. He's having some, or he can get in. He's having some graphics problems here with this track for some reason. Well, I'm not sure what's going on there with him, but hopefully he gets that worked out. Here we are at Nazareth Speedway tonight. And again, race number five of the season. 130 laps, and a very challenging track here for round number five. I'm your host, Heath Johnson, broadcaster commentator here at Tour Left TV and owner of High Octane Racing League. Appreciate you joining us here on the broadcast, whether you're watching it live or on replay. Be a lot of fun here tonight, man. It's this thing is, uh, we raced this track uh, last a couple seasons ago and uh, guys were pretty skeptical when they came into this track but it ended up being a great race so uh, i'm really excited about this one uh, it is going to be a tough one for these guys but uh, those are the tracks that really end up making for some great great racing Tonight's race is brought to you by EliteHostingUSA.com. If you're interested in an R Factor 2 server for your league, or how about a website or an online store, you can see EliteHostingUSA.com. They can provide you with servers in your local area, no matter where you are in the world. EliteHostingUSA.com can supply you with some R Factor 2 servers. And that's who supplies our servers here at HighOctaneRacing.net. Don't forget to join us over there. And uh, you get a quick link to the Discord server. And thanks to all those folks who joined this week, Ben. My gosh, I think we've got about 30, 40 drivers, potential drivers joining us uh, just this week at the Discord server. Absolutely blew up. And uh, I am greatly enjoying that and appreciative. And uh, thanks to all those admin folks here at High Octane Racing League for all their work as well. And don't forget to join us over at HighOctaneRacing.net. Thanks for coming out to the YouTube channel. Don't forget to uh, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so. Share my videos with all your friends and smash that bell. Hello.
Well, we'll take a look at the schedule here in the Bushwhacker series. Of course, this is uh, the halfway point after tonight. Next week, Tala, Dega, Super Speedway. Followed by Dover, Five Flag Speedway. Get a little asterisk by that one. That's a new one. A little short track. Darlington Raceway coming up on the 12th of May. And then we have Indianapolis Motor Speedway to finish out the season on May 19th. Very interesting season on that back half, man. Good mix of tracks. Excited about that, see, that uh, rest of that season. The Bushwhackers are always a fun series, man. We've had a huge field size. Of course, 19 drivers here joining us so far, and that's actually been a little bit light compared to what we've had uh, throughout this season. Man, we have got a special event coming up tomorrow, 10 a.m. And it's the Extra Life Children's Miracle Network Hospitals race, charity race, charity event at Yas Marina. One hour multi-class event with the BTCC and the GT3 cars. And all to benefit the Extra Life Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. Bunch of guys gonna be out racing this. If you'd like to join up, there's a Discord uh, link there and also you can watch the race, man. Make a donation if you'd like, but it's going to be a fun one. It's going to be broadcast live right here on Turn Left TV. We're going to start that stream somewhere around 9.30 a.m. Oh, my gosh, i got to get up early on a Saturday morning. But it's for a great purpose, and it'll be live right here on Turn Left TV. Don't want to miss it. It's the Extra Life Children's Miracle Network Hospitals one-hour multi-class event at Yas Marina. High Octane Racing League GT3 Series will be back in action next week on April the 22nd for the final race of the season. It'll be Daytona Road Course, 60-minute race. This has been a great series, man. We've had big fields, great, great racing. Guys absolutely love the, uh, the racing in the GT3 Series, and we're going to finish it up right. Uh, probably the, the greatest, well, is it the greatest road course? Okay, I'm probably going to get some uh, argument over that, but uh, it's going to be a great one, man. Daytona Road Course coming up on April the 22nd live right here on Turn Left TV. Saturday Showdown Series will be in action tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's right, I got a race to stream at 10 a.m and another one to stream at 2 p.m. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm living the dream right now, huh? Streaming sim races and having a lot of fun. It'll be at Watkins Glen International, 40 lap road course race in the stock car 2018 mod at uh, Watkins Glen in the Saturday Showdown Series, race number five, broadcast live right here on Turn Love TV. Has headed over to the qualification session, so we'll see how this works out for him. And the Saturday Night Thunder will be back in action at 9 p.m. tomorrow evening at Martinsville Motor Speedway. Or that's actually Martinsville Speedway. 200 lap race number four of the season. 
and uh, in the 2018 mod as well. So I got busy. We got three races tomorrow. I will actually be racing in this one. I'm a glutton for punishment because Martinsville will absolutely kick your butt. And uh, you get like, we'd love you to come out here and join me on the track tomorrow, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, in the Saturday Night Thunder at Martinsville Speedway. So now in the qualification session, Michael Simonsato in a six uh, or eight X car. Gotten some chatters in here. Paul Brown, KTKT. KT. Fireball Flash and Jack Trollick. Givaldo, of course, starting us off here. Said, hit the like button, man. That guy is one of our biggest supporters, man. Givaldo out on the track as well here tonight. Seven point four eight five. Oh, Marizon twenty seven point two five six. Sibinsado uh, fourth with his first lap. Now Steve Pierce, man of the one X car. I know Steve's wondering, hey man, when's my car gonna be done? He's gonna be in the fifty one car here pretty soon. As soon as I get time to finish that paint scheme, I do it all, man. Broadcast, race, paint cars. Tried to build tracks. I've got a couple uh, scratch builds about uh, a quarter of the way done, so to speak. <laughs> Steve Pierce right now in the uh, 12th position. 26.723, Franco Alvarez, the time to beat. Uh, a little bit loose there for the 1X car. A little bit loose there. About John Stanley, Staple Gun Stanley here in the 12th car. The 11th position with a 27.776 for him. Dennis Shudichin in the 47. Got the pizza on the side of the car here tonight. Give everybody a piece of pizza, I think, afterwards. Dropping some pepperoni on the track here tonight. 47 car. Got now 13th on the grid with a 27.965 there for him. Yeah, Palumbo Melly Yellow Sponsor Machine. Hug at that wall. Now the back stretch here into uh, turn three. Out of turn three. You see uh, the front stretch kind of got a uh, little bit of a dog leg there. And uh, 28.294 for Ed Palumbo, seventh on the grid. Dana Grover in the 89, coming out on the track. His outlap, racing uh, at Tracks VR facility. He does some uh, racing from that facility. They provide uh, sim rigs and uh, all the racing equipment these guys need to race. Supply the place for them. He loves it, man. 89 car here. Uh, I tell you what, it's going to be uh, sooner rather than later when we see this 89 car in victory lane here at this Toyota Tracks VR sponsor machine. A little bit, a little bit of work to do. Uh, 27.267 fifth on the grid for Grover. Oh, slamming the wall there for lap number two. That's going to be a tough one. We recover from so I think that uh, 89 fifth place went out there's a little bit late I think that hard contact there for him is going to scrub off some speed on this second lap and uh, there we go with some more contact so how about this Thiago Gomez in the 26 car another one of those uh, Brazilian drivers joining us he's in a Toyota Gomez uh, waiting a little bit. 27.840, jumping up to 15th on the grid. Let's see what lap number two has in store for Tiago. 
Josh Rawick says, uh, love the 89 car. And uh, also, Tony Furtado joining us in the chat session, too. He needs to be out on the track, man. Probably spending time with the wife, huh? What do you think? So it looks like uh, Qualls uh, are effectively finished. So again, thanks for joining us here on Turn Love TV. Appreciate everybody being here tonight, and uh, we should probably get this party started, huh?
All right, welcome back. Looks like uh, qualifications have ended. Let's take a look at the qualification results. Franco Alvarez with a 26.723 qualifies in P1. You see Preston Hassel starts in the second position. Ricky Emerson third. Craig Marisol will start in the fourth spot. Dana Grover starts fifth. Gordon Carter sixth. Good to see Gordon Carter out here. He's been a little bit of a uh, missing in action here at the Stock Cars on Friday night. It's good to see him out. Dan Richter starts in the uh, seventh position. Ed Palumbo will start eighth. Michael Simonsato starts in the ninth position. Jim Willis starts in tenth. Starting in the eleventh position will be Sean Jacobs. Ricardo Simonsato starts twelfth. John Stanley, 13th. Jair Oliveira starts in 14th. Tiago Gomez, 15th. Uh, Joe Mar Peixoto starts 16th. Jamal Spindle starts in the 17th position. Steve Pierce, 18th. And we have a 19th driver, and that will be Dennis Udichin, uh, who uh, looked like he had uh, had to reconnect. So uh, those are the qualification results. Don't forget, man, to hit that like button and uh, or the um, the bell. Hit the subscribe button, and if you'd like to donate to uh, Turn Left TV, you can make a donation straight through PayPal by clicking on the link up on the right side of the banner of this channel. Also, down in the description of this race, there are several links there. One to the PayPal, and also one to make a donation to Extra Life Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. We'll be doing that race tomorrow, live right here on Turn Left TV. So if you'd like to make a donation tonight, can't be there tomorrow, please click on the link in the description of this race. Here is the uh, advertisement for the Extra Life race. Streaming will start about 9.30 a.m. Man, I have got to drag my butt out of bed early tomorrow. My gosh, I like to sleep in on Saturdays. But it's for a great cause, huh? Extra Life Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. That race will be broadcast live right here on Turn Left TV. Let's take a look at the track here at Nazareth Speedway. Very unique track. Uh, just about uh, under a, a mile in length, almost a mile. Four turns? No, I think it's five turns. Turns one and the straights at 22.7 degrees of banking, two and three at three degrees of banking, four and five. That's right, five turns, four degrees of banking here at Nazareth. This track still exists, but they have a some sort of a uh, written agreement that nobody will ever race at the track again. Isn't that a shame? Uh, so it still exists. Just took a uh, Google image of that not too long ago, the first time we raced it. So uh, what a shame. But we're going to race it in the virtual world. We're going to take a look at the uh, the keys to the race here tonight. Well, how about race the track? This is a very challenging track, man. It's all about corner entry here. Uh, this thing wants to drift up toward the wall, so you're going to have to pick your spots here to pass. We've got a pretty decent sized field here tonight, 19 drivers. And uh, make sure those pit stops are on point. It's easy to speed here at, uh, at Nazareth. And you're going to have to navigate through that traffic as this race tears on. And we start getting some lap traffic, lap traffic in the in the uh, in the mix. Going to have to learn how to get through it here at Nazareth because it is a tough track to navigate, even when there isn't any other cars on the track. So those are my keys to the race here at Nazareth tonight. Josh Brink, where you been, bro? He's out there in the chat session. Jack Frolic, 
course. Uh, so it's such a weird track. Tony Furtado chiming in. He's uh, doesn't have any cable right now. Oh my gosh. Yeah, but nonetheless, good to see him out. Probably take a look at the point standings coming into tonight's race. Relevant, I think, at this point. And Franco Alvarez has a wee bit of a lead over Todd Robillard. If we want to send out our condolences to Todd, uh, he lost a very uh, lost his uh, one of his family members today, and uh, definitely thinking about him and uh, sending out our well wishes, and, uh, thoughts, and prayers to uh, Todd Robillard and his family at this time. You know he uh, can rally around us, and that's for sure. Craig Marazan sits uh, third in points. Sean Jacobs fourth. Ed Palumbo is fifth. He's looking at that tight battle there for uh, three, four, and five. Salviev is sixth. Not here tonight, I don't think. Alexis Salviev. Tim Lansbury seventh. Dennis Judich at eighth. Preston Hassel ninth. Paul Brown sits tenth in points. Also not here tonight. So he's watching it from the recliner. Claudio Bartelli Jr. Eleventh in points. Not here as well. He might be uh, playing some samba music somewhere. Gibaldo, Dan Chessmore, Steve Pierce, Jim Willis, Lucas Sifter, Archer Vieta, Chris Hughes, Ricardo Simonsano, and John Stanley rounding out that top 20. Take a look at uh, page number three. See some of those uh, part time drivers. This track would uh, scare even the, uh, the most astute driver, let alone to those folks who are not uh, quite used to. Um, racing in stock cars. Got Ricky Emerson joining us out here tonight. He's got a two 8X cars out here, so uh, we'll have to try to keep them straight. Hopefully we will be able to. About uh, two and a half minutes left to go in the warm up session. A little under uh, two and a half minutes, just over two minutes, depending on how you look at that. Hassel uh, wishing the drivers good luck here tonight. So good luck to him. We're taking a look at the 27 car right now. He knew he was on the uh, on camera texting from the driver's seat of the car. Josh Briggs said he's getting a little HORL homesick. Hey, man, we miss you. We miss you, man. I understand being busy with life, man. I, uh, I teach high school, and uh, things can uh, get away, uh, you know, from or draw you away from those fun things in life in a hurry. Also signed up for another uh, class this summer, so I'll be taking a summer class, finishing my second master's degree, hopefully. 
pretty soon. Well, next couple years anyway. Just going to do some summer stuff. Looks like we're doing biochemistry. Grad level biochemistry this summer. Hopefully, keep the fingers crossed. Hopefully, it doesn't kill me. All right, man. I think that's it. We're ready to rock and roll. We are ready to rock and roll here at Nazareth. Thank you, you too, guy. Here we go. Race number five. Nazareth Speedway. Like they're going to try to let uh, Jesus one more try and try to try to get in here. He's had some uh, trouble. So it looks like uh, Jesus has had some trouble trying to get in here. Man, I don't know uh, what's going on with the graphic situation for him. So hopefully we'll be able to get him in the race. He's going to give it one more shot. So uh, a little bit of a delay here. Right now, we are waiting on Jesus Iglesias. We call him Barbecue to get back in here. Or try one more time to get back in. Thanks for your understanding. All right, I think we're ready. Jesus is back. Jesus is back. He's the barbecue is over. We call him Barbecue. That's his nickname. He owns it. All right, race number five. 
And uh, switch it over here. Maybe we'll get the command to start the engines for real this time. So here we go, boys and girls. Hopefully everybody in here and good to go. So it looks like they are. So we'll take a look at the starting order here at uh, Nazareth Speedway. We'll take a look here. Franco Alvarez, Preston Hassel side by side. Ricky Emerson, Craig Marizad, third and fourth. Dana Grover starts in the fifth position. Gordon Carter, sixth. Dan Richter, seventh. Ed Palumbo starts in the eighth position. Starting in ninth will be Dana Grover. Gordon Carter, excuse me, starting in ninth will be Michael Simonsano. Jim Willis starts in the tenth position. Sean Jacobs, eleventh. Happy birthday, Sean. Ricardo Simonsano starts in twelfth. Sean is uh, 49 again. John Stanley starts 13th. Jair Levada starts in 14th. Tiago Gomez, 15th. Dennis Unichin. In the buffet car, starts in 47th. A little pizza for us tonight. 17th will be Jomar Peixoto. Jivaldo Spindola in the 68 car, starts 18th. Steve Pierce, 19th. And Jesus Iglesias, who just dropped out. We waited for him. He just dropped out. Would start in the 20th position if he actually gets back in. We're going to be a, uh, a challenging one here tonight, man, at uh, Nazareth Speedway. Going to be a challenging one. You guys are uh, getting lined up. Franco Alvarez on the pole here in the 83 car. Hopefully everybody races this track, man. This thing is going to be challenging. Hassel starting the outside, and you're going to want to get this car up to the outside line as soon as you can. Here's the 83. You know he's going to get a good start here. The 27 also good on starts. Side by side. Emerson up front. Craig Barazon up front. Pace car diving off the track here for Nazareth Speedway of 130 laps here tonight. And it's race number five of the season. Green flag, go, go, go. We're off, green flag here at Nazareth. So uh, looks like Alvarez clears the 27 car. Hard into the turn. Side by side back there in the uh, got the fourth position on back. Side by side. Yeah, this thing tough on tires here, man. So you want to find the groove. You don't have to race somebody side by side for very long here because this thing will eat up your tires. Look at this. Uh, Craig Marazon in the 60, running in the fifth position. Dana Grover running in P4 out of the front of Craig Marazon's machine. A little bumpy at this track. And the 60 car running in P5. Got Dan Richter in the 65 car. Boom Boo sponsored machine. Ford Mustang. A little bit of turn left TV on the side of that as well. At Palumbo running in eight. Simmons Sato running in the ninth position. Sean Jacobs rounding out the top ten. Take a look at Sean Jacobs in the uh, 24 car. On board here with him. A little single file action right now as these guys start to uh, figure this track out. Take a look here. It looked like uh, JJ might have came off track for some reason. We'll take a look. Uh, J.J. come off track as Steve Pierce gets by. I don't know, J.J.'s uh, on pit lane for some reason. Mario Levada on pit lane in the 41 car here early on. Very interesting there. Maybe, uh, maybe just using that access road. Wow, he is something going on with the 41 car. This is very interesting. You 
go back here and take a look at uh, got a battle here. Preston Hassel and Ricky Emerson. Oh, Preston Hassel hard into the wall. Hard contact for Preston Hassel in the outside wall. Matt lifted the car up off the ground. Ricky Emerson to the inside. Try to get by. Preston Hassel is going to have a significant amount of right side damage. That car just absolutely laid into the wall. Take a look here at Preston Hassel. See that car just lifted up off the ground. He made contact. And uh, he's holding on to that position, but that thing has got to be absolutely toast. Look at this. Steve Pierce, the 1X car, battling the 68 of uh, Tivaldo Spindola. Steve Pierce taking over the uh, 12th position. Spindola back to P13. Excuse me, that is taking over the uh, 17th position. Spindola back to 17. Gilmar Pichotto and Tiago Gomez here battling it out. It's a little Toyota versus Camaro. Toyota versus Chevy, I should say. And uh, Gilmar going to make that pass. And just ahead of him, we got a battle between John Stanley and the 47. Dennis Udichin. Well, Gilmar making that pass. Out of the back of Gilmar's machine, you see Tiago Gomez and Steve Pierce. Steve Pierce here moving it up. Moving up the track here. Trying to get around Tiago Gomez. Battles for the 16th position. Looks like Steve Pierce going to take over that spot. So uh, Steve Pierce moving up here. In that one X car. Draco Alvarez continuing the lead here in the 83. Ricky Emerson running at P2. He's gotten around Preston Hassel. And Ricky Emerson finally makes that pass. Uh, we'll take a look at the pass here between the 8X uh, of uh, Ricky Emerson getting by the 27. That 47 car definitely dealing with some damage on the right side of that vehicle. Pit crew is saying, why are you giving us work to do here, man? Look at this, uh, out of the back of Ricky Emerson's car, you see Data Grover starting to put a little pressure here on the 27. Oh, man, more contact there. Dan Richter and Gordon Carter. Hard contact for both those guys into the outside wall. 54 car, uh, he was hard contact for him. Ed Palumbo is starting to put a little pressure on him as that 54. Gordon Carter made contact with the wall. You see the 8X there of Michael Simasato in this mix too. So uh, now, in fact, Richter uh, goes down to the bottom line. He's uh, looking to maybe uh, get this car on the pit lane. 53 car uh, following Sean Jacobs. That's Jim Willis getting by, but uh, man, 65 car has got a lot of uh, right side damage as well. I suggest we're probably going to see him on pit lane here sooner rather than later. Franco Alvarez out there by himself right now has got a five and a half second lead over the field. Remember, Ricky Emerson took a little while to get around uh, Preston Hassel, who had gotten into the wall. We'll take a look at uh, Ricky, or uh, excuse me, Fr uh, Franco Alvarez. Our leader, Ricky Emerson, second, Preston Hassel, third, Dana Grover in fourth, Craig Marazon in the fifth position. Take a look at John Stanley here in the 12 guard. He's running in the 14th position as Jomar Pichotto in the 3X, starting to put a little pressure on him. Stanley using that outside line, now diving down to the inside as the Pichotto uh, drifts up the track, scrubs off a little speed, and Stanley transitions through that turn a little bit better. And uh, Jomar on that one. This battle starting to heat up here. Jomar starting to put some pressure on him. And the uh getting around the 65 car. That 65 car is beat to death. You see uh, Jomar getting into the outside wall yellow, too. Yellow, yellow. We got a yellow flag here. As uh, getting some word that maybe Javaldo might have come around. We take a look at Franco Alvarez, our race leader. Givaldo uh, coming around here, I think, on lap 15. 
We've seen uh, guys, I think, overdriving the turns and the car washing up the track and hard contact with the wall. This is a challenging track, man, because it is really, it's almost like a, I don't know, man, like a, a, uh, a five turn track, almost like a Phoenix, but shorter and more challenging. Let's take a look and see what happened here to uh, Givaldo in the one X car. Steve Pierce up on the outside, and uh, looks like there's contact there. But the uh, 68 car gets into the outside as Steve Pierce and him get together. Take a look at another another look at this as they're coming off the turn, and uh, look like uh, Givaldo. And the uh, 1X get together, that's for sure. Hard to say who was at fault on that one. That 1X car is uh, Steve Pierce looking out of the front of his car here. Ford here with him and uh, look like went off that turn. That's a tough place to make a pass there. And contact the ball though into the wall up on the outside. Looks like John Stanley's taking out to uh, lead some laps. As we got uh, cars on pit lane, Crescent House is going to have an extended pit stop in that 27 car. Taking some uh, oh man, am I under? Uh, where am I? Whoa, what are we? What are we looking at here? Franco Alvarez back to the lead as it uh, looks like Ricky Emerson is in second. Dana Grover third, Ed Palumbo fourth, Michael Simonsato is fifth. Ricardo Simonsato is in the sixth position in that 44 car. I haven't talked too much about Ricardo here. He brought his brother out to race with us, huh? I'm assuming they're brothers. A couple of our uh, Brazilian drivers. Now, Alvarez will lead the field to take the green flag, and I would suggest he's probably going to take the inside line here. Going to go uh, green, I think, in another lap. And you see a little bit of an elevation change there too through the front stretch. Goes uphill like a crown uh, crest there almost to the start finish line. And then comes back down after that start after the uh, start finish line. So uh, interesting track here at NASA Speedway. It's going to go green this time by and Franco Alvarez taking the outside line. When we get back green, we'll start lap 21. 130 laps here tonight. Alvarez, our points leader. Ricky Emerson in his first race out in a while. Good to see him out. We go flag, back to green. Flag. Go, go, go. It's going to be tough, man. Side by side here around this track is tough. Alvarez uh, clears the 8X car. 
And look at this, Dana Grover gonna follow it through. Dana Grover putting a little pressure on Franco Alvarez now. And the crew at uh, Trax VR are cheering Dana Grover right now. 89 car putting a little pressure, maybe want to take the race lead here in this Toyota. Emerson now back to the third position. Dana Grover looking very, very racy. Now going down to the inside. Put a little pressure here on Alvarez. Little pressure here. The 89 and the 83 battling. Oh, boy, tight. It's going to let Ricky Emerson get back in this mix. Grover now uh, on the bottom side there as Ricky Emerson goes to the outside. This is so tough to pass here, man. Ricky Emerson stealing that spot back. As Grover gave it a shot, but uh, Alvarez was able to fight him off. That's fair game there. Look at that elevation change. Look at that front stretch. If you want to call that a straightaway, I'm going to argue with it. Preston Hassel in the 27 car. AMD rises, spots the machine, trying to bounce back. Looks like the uh, 47 up the track. As Preston Hassel is going to make that pass. The 47. Oh, man, 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 contact there with the 41. Jair Oliveira trying to squeeze his way through in that 41 car. And the 47 had his work cut out for him. It's not over for him. It looks like the 3X up the track there tried to put a little pressure on it. Dennis Unigen and that. Uh, Pizza sponsor machine. I love Kharkiv. Buffet pizza. 47. He says, uh, when I first saw that uh, car, I said, what is that? He says, cheese. <laughs> uh, we absolutely adore Dennis Unigen, man. He's got such a great attitude, happy. And uh, here he is out here running in the 14th position. Enko Alvarez, the leader, but he's got some pressure, man. 8X, Ricky Emerson just behind. Dana Grover running in third. Three-man battle here, but Ed Palumbo trying to sneak up in this mix a little bit here in the 54 car. Ed Palumbo in that Mellow Yellow sponsor machine. It's like uh, Michael Simonsato just behind him, followed by Craig Marazon. Ricardo Simonsato running into the seventh position. Gordon Carter, eighth. Jim Willis, ninth. Tiago Gomez in the tenth position. Take a look at Jim Willis here in the 53 car. Running in P9, a Black Rifle Coffee Company machine. Word has it, word on the street is Jim Willis may have a new paint scheme coming very soon. Another Black Rifle Coffee Company iteration. Ultimate paint scheme. Franco Alvarez painted him up a scheme and it looks absolutely fantastic. Look at this battle here. Dana Grover to the inside of uh, Ricky Emerson. Grover trying to pull off that pass. Ricky Emerson holding his line on the outside. Side by side with these guys. And the 89 car battling the 8X of Ricky Emerson. Ricky Emerson got to hold yeah, on to that yeah, spot. Yeah. Got a uh, yellow flag here, I believe. The yellow flag here on lap 29. And the Franco Alvarez will take the caution flag. We'll take a look and see what happened here. It looked like uh, maybe JJ had some uh, issues. Down to the inside. Oh, he gets onto the rubble strips there. Oh, and then backs it into the wall. These guys do a great job of avoiding that. Man, Pashoto had a ringside seat for that. Did he not? Look at this. We'll take a look here. Is uh, up the hill. And then he goes uh, down, cuts this a little bit uh, too much. Gets onto that no grip there, loses the back end of the car and backs it into the wall. Those guys do a great job of avoiding that. Just a single car incident there. And Gilmar Pachotto, the move to get around was absolutely fantastic. 
board here with Jomar. Watch this. He sees that happen. It transpired right there. He tries to go down. Oh, great move there by Jomar. Great move uh, by the three axe machine. And I uh, can't take anything away from uh, Dennis Udichin as well on that. On that as well. We'll take it here out of uh, Dennis Udichin's machine. Alex, this is out of uh, Joe Mars again. Sorry about that. Right here, man. A little uh, move back to the right. On board here with Udichin. Right here, it doesn't involve anybody, so uh, JJ just has to do a uh, longest line. Tough track, man, especially uh, when you touch those uh, grip uh, or the less of grip down there on those rumble strips on the curb. That could really upset the balance of the car. Broke the back into that car loose. And uh, we'll go back to live here as it looks like uh, Ricky or excuse me, uh, Alvarez is on pit lane. See those guys finishing up pit stop. Said, uh, oh, man, does Alvarez beat him out? I don't know. Who got that one? Like uh, somebody dragging a cone there out on the track. It's stuck in the grass. Which is uh, interesting. Hey, maybe that's a portal somewhere else. <laughs> Been a long week. Been a long week. Franco Alvarez, the leader. Uh, Ricky Emerson in second. Data Grover third. Simmons Sato's. The Simmons Sato brothers, fourth and fifth. Shaw Jacobs, Preston Hassel, Tiago Gomez, Gordon Carter, and Craig Marazon rounding out the top 10. Good tonight's race is brought to you by EliteHostingUSA.com. If you're interested in our Factor 2 server, there are three self-managed server packages for you to choose from. That's EliteHostingUSA.com. like uh, Franco Alvarez is elected to take the inside line this time. He's going to mix it up. He felt like uh, Ricky Emerson had a pretty good start there on the inside last time, so maybe switching up the game here a little bit, trying to get in Ricky Emerson's head. Got two 8X cars out here tonight, uh, unfortunately, but uh, you have that. Guys get to choose... Uh, new driver schemes we don't have paint schemes in the car set we paint up uh, nine new driver schemes and Alvarez is elected to take the inside line maybe those 8x cars will uh, team up on it 89 Dana Grover running in the uh, Third position, see the 44. Green flag, green flag, go, 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 Sato running in uh, fifth. It is good battle here on the restart. 35 laps in, we still got just under 100 to go. Well, a lot of laps to go here. And Emerson likes this outside line. Did not want to give him that outside line, and right there, he takes it. Emerson, our leader. Alvarez wants back by. Alvarez into the back of Ricky Emerson. Oh, Emerson holding on to that thing. Ricky Emerson almost wrecked that thing. Emerson having some trouble, saying he's having some gearing problems. Ricky Emerson having some trouble here. Is he's lost a gear or something? He can't get the car to stay in gear. The 80 uh, the 8x car 
There was huge contact between he and uh, Alvarez. And now Dana Grover to the lead as it looks like Franco off the pace. Franco has uh, dropped back. He's in third as the 89 yeah, yeah, is yeah. our leader. We've got a yellow flag here. Like Ed Palumbo got caught. Claire Philpot joining us in the uh, in the chat. Good to see Claire out here. Take a look and see what happened here. Oh, man. Take a look and see what happened here to the 54 car. Take a look at the 54 car here. Something happened to him. So yeah, he hits the uh, hits the wall there. And then the three X gets in, gets into him as well. So it looks like uh, the 89 car, our leader, Sibitsado, is in second. Michael Sibitsado. All right, looks like Data Grover the leader. How about that, man? That's going to get some cheers in the chat session. Michael Sibonsato is second. Franco Alvarez third. Ricardo Sibonsato fourth. Preston Hassel fifth. Craig Marazon is sixth. Gordon Carter seventh. Sean Jacobs eighth. Diago Gomez ninth. And Jim Willis is in tenth. So uh, Data Grover and that Toyota. This will be a big win for those Trax VR guys there. Might be a whole crew watching him right now. There's like 
dozens of people watching him here on Turn Left TV. <laughs> Is that Aerosmith? Here we go, 89 car. He liked, elected to go to the inside. Simmons Sato going to be on the outside line on this restart. His car is off. Here we go. Back to grid. We flag. Go, go, go. Got some of the cameras here are wacky. 89 car gets a good start. As Alvarez dives down to the inside, gets below the uh, 8X car. Now he is starting to push that uh, 89. Alvarez got into the back of the 89 there just before that accident. Oh, Preston Hassel no, no, coming no, no. around. Preston Hassel coming around in the uh, 27 car. He's got a tire bouncing across the track. As it looks like Preston is missing a wheel. Caution, free cautions here. Hopefully these guys get settled down a little bit. Back there and take a look and see what happened to Preston. Uh, gets up there into uh, the 60 car and then comes around and wow, man, what a, oh, Dan Richter absolute uh, demolished him. Dan Richter got into him pretty hard, but the move. Like uh, Sean Jacobs had made to avoid this. Sean Jacobs is going to watch this. He sees that 27 car come across the track. And then big time contact behind. Dan Richter could not miss him. Just had nowhere to go. Good board here with Dan Richter. And the 53 did a good job, too, of missing that. I believe that was the 53 car. Uh, Jim Willis did a great job of uh, missing that as well. Take a look at his 53. As uh, Hassel comes up the track, these guys get out of the uh, gas. It might be a little bit of a punch there from the 54 car, but does a great job of missing 27. But uh, Dan Richter could not miss. And uh, you see uh, Press's tire. Jumping over the fence there. There's Preston now. Coming down pit lane, you see that car sparking. He's uh, dragging the front of that car down pit lane to get some service done. Kind of curious to see if guys come down on the pit lane here. And uh, these guys are going to be working on this car for a while, it looks like. As, uh, yeah, damage there to that car. That car is going to be on pit lane for a little bit. Dana Grover back to the lead.
All right, man, here we're on lap 48. And uh, these guys, a little bit of a challenge here with the caution flags. Got a couple cars out of the race. Looks like uh, Ricky Emerson and Palumbo both out of the race here. Preston Hassel and Dan Richter both on pit lane. Dan Richter got a bunch of damage, too, on that 65 card. He's had an eventful night here, too, man. The 65 is just, uh, you know, sort of the the mess you get when you race back in traffic. You're getting ready to go back green. Here is the 89 car. Hit us with some biology facts. Green flag, green flag. Go, go, go. Oh, man. Biology facts. We'll do one on the next caution flag. 89, Dana Grover. That's a fact. He is up front. And Franco Alvarez tried everything he can to try to get around Dana Grover. He wants to get back up to the front here, but that Toyota looking fast here tonight. 83 looking really racy. They're really pushing the issue to try to get around. And he's going to the outside of the 89. Backs off. But uh, he's definitely putting some pressure here on the 89 car. Dana Grover leading a lot of laps here tonight in the 89. In the fireball flash. Tracks VR sponsored machine. Oh, looked like Alvarez might have gotten into the wall in that 83 car. 8X, Michael Simonsato running in third. Fourth is Ricardo Simonsato. Nick Barazon running in P5. Gordon Carter up here in the uh, sixth position. We got a good battle here for the race lead. Now down to the bottom here as Alvarez peeking on the bottom side. Now he's got a, uh, a fender underneath the uh, 89 car, but the 89 has the outside and able to uh, hold on to that spot. There's Sean Jacobs here to the 24 car, running behind Gordon Carter. Gordon Carter in the 56. He's in P6. Sean Jacobs in the seventh position. A little good battle here as uh, 24 did a great job of missing that last yellow flag, that last wreck, and um, now finds himself in P7. Jim Willis and Steve Pierce having a battle here. Jim uh, Willis in the 53 car down to the inside. Going behind John Stanley in the 12. Steve Pierce in that one X car up on the outside line. Going to give up a position there on the 53. Now uh, moves up to P12. Steve Pierce now back to the 13th position. Right now, Dana Grover and uh, Franco Alvarez having a great battle here. How about the brothers battling here? Michael Simonsato and Ricardo Simonsato running in P3, P4. A couple of our Brazilian drivers. South Americans, man, they are absolutely crazy about racing. They love it. Here, look at this. Franco Alvarez still pushing the issue on the inside. Good, clean racing there. As that Dana Grover able to hold him off. And it is so hard to pass here. He is, uh, man, really pushing the issue here in this uh, 83 car. On board here with Franco Alvarez. Little uh, bumpy here through the turns. Alvarez gets a good shot here. Good launch off the turn. Trying to find a way to get around that fireball flash sponsored Toyota. The outside. Oh, man, out of the gas here. Almost got up into the wall here through the uh, tri oval. He'll give it a shot here as Data Grover getting sideways. Side by side here, probably the best run that Alvarez had on him and not able to pull it off. Look at this, uh, Jim Willis in the 53 car. Battling John Stanley. John Stanley in the 12. Got a little Ford versus uh, Chevy. And uh, the Black Rifle Coffee Company machine now moving up to the 11th position. And he's trying to crack that top 10. John Stanley moves back to 12. Triangle Leveda and uh, Dennis Judich battling it out. 
Oliveira in the 41 car and Dennis Uderton in the 47. Good battling here. Oh, man, that got close. That got close. As the 41 picking up that spot, but man, did he have to earn it. Back up here up front. Franco Alvarez to the inside. Best run he's had on the 89. And the 89, I think he said, hey, you go ahead and take it. And Franco Alvarez back to the race lead. Now the question is, how bad or how much did he wear out his tires trying to get around Dana Grover? I think Grover was just holding his line, but Franco Alvarez was really pushing the issue here, trying to get by. And Alvarez, uh, yellow, yellow, yellow. Sato will come around. Simon Sato's come around here. As uh, we were taking, trying to take a look at that, I think Michael Simonsato's come around. Ricardo's gotten around, but Michael Simonsato off pace. And uh, he has spun that machine. Take a look and see what happened to Michael Simonsato. Oh, brother Ricardo! Brother Ricardo. Oh, Sean Jacobs, another great move. My heavens, man. Sean Jacobs with the move. But Ricardo gave his brother a little bit of a punt there. Let's take a look at that again. You see that 44 car, the white car there, gets into the back of the 8X right there. And puts the brother. Oh, does he stay out of the wall? Might have been a little contact. Uh, Cars trying to get through, but uh, oh boy. Conversation at the dinner table. Between the brothers, take a look at this. The 44 gets into the back of the 8X. And he spins up the track. Oh, Gordon Carter, great move. Oh man, look at that. Sean Jacobs just a little skip off of the front of the 8X machine. Oh boy. Rubble in Simonsatoville. Oh boy, right into the back of his brother. I don't know who's older, but uh, there is. Could be some talking on that one. So a little contact there. Michael Simonsato gets in, or excuse me, Ricardo Simonsato gets into the back of uh, his brother. And his brother goes for a ride. Board here with him. Watch this. A whole mirror full at that 44 car. Does a great job of uh, keeping it out of uh, the wall, but man, he had, oh, and did shake him. Just a little contact there for him. Board here with, uh, with him again as um, Sean Jacobs. Just a little contact right there coming through. Starting to see some, uh, oh, Jim Willis uh, shown as a race leader. I think he stayed out and got some points. All right, biology facts for you. Biology fact, you know humans actually have the gene to make vitamin C, which is active in mice and other rodents, but not active in humans. It's broken. So a fossil gene, we call those fossil genes. They are genes that are shut off and uh, not functional. So we could make our own vitamin C, but we have to get it in our diet because the gene's not working. There you go. It's a little biology fact for you. Jim Willis shown as the leader. I kind of wonder what's uh, what's going to happen here with Jim. Is he going to come down pit lane? And he is. So uh, Jim Willis coming down pit lane here, peeling off the track. Let's 
there's a biology fact for you. How about that? I'll give you one more with the hope that we won't have any more caution flags. So it's, a, it's one that I would give you on the next caution flag, but since there's not going to be any more caution flags, I'll give you another treat. And this would, I think everybody knows, you know whales actually have pelvis bones? And on some occasions, when the uh, gene is active and expressed, they will develop hind limbs. So they have the gene for limbs because... Uh, for legs, because they evolved from tetrapods, four-legged animals. There you go. Land animals. All right, back to green. 83 and a 41 side-by-side. Dario -side. Leveda maybe gambling a little bit here on tire strategy. Up front here is the 83 on fresher tires. Getting by that 41. Now that 41 car going to be pressured here. Gordon Carter running in the second, in the uh, third position. Put a little pressure here on the 41 car. On board here with Gordon Carter. Is that Gordon Carter in the uh, high place moving sponsor machine running in the third position? His first race back in a while. JJ Leveda in the 41 car running in second. Got a little bit of a tire strategy going on there, I believe. Daniel Grover now back to the up fourth position. Thiago Gomez has his car up front here, the 26. He's running in P5. John Stanley, Sean Jacobs here battling, battling it out. It's like Sean Jacobs is going to pick up that spot. John Stanley trying to get that spot back. It's uh, this is in on Sean Jacobs in the 24. John Stanley in the 12. So we're back up here with the uh, 83, our race leader. So that was a good clean pass there. Sean Jacobs showing me how it's done. Here, take a look at this 24 car. You see uh, Stanley goes to the outside, the 24 sneaking through. Picking up that spot. Now we P9, John Stanley in the 10th position. Jake Bears on, uh, we'll take a look at him in the 60 car. Our points leader, actually Alvarez is the points leader. This is uh, last season's champion and still in the points race. As the mayor's on running in P8 right now. Just ahead of him is Dennis Udichin in the seventh position in the 47 car. Thiago Gomez is in sixth in the 26 car. A great paint scheme uh, both those guys have. Marazon got a great one as well. Michael Simisato here. We'll take a look at that live. The Simisato putting some pressure here on the uh, 26. And gets by the 26 car. So Tiago Gomez in the 26. Now falling back to six. Uh, Simisato, Michael Simisato, after getting spun out by his brother, finds himself in the fifth position. This guy's a bit great, man. Uh, you know, uh, Ricardo came out. We got got him a car painted. He's uh, you know, been busy with work and life and so forth. But that brings his brother back to us out here. It brings his brother out to race with us. And uh, we love that, man. We got a brother duo here racing tonight. And is that Franco Alvarez? Obviously an only child. Snotty little guy. Little just kidding, Franco. You see the uh, battle there as Barazon uh, trying to get around Gomez. Well, Craig Barazon making a pass. Take a look at that pass there as uh, Craig Barazon maybe using a pick there from the 47 car to get by the 26. And that Magpul Dynamics Camaro now up to the seventh position as Gomez continuing to fall back there a little bit, maybe on a little bit different tire strategy for that Napa sponsor machine. Alvarez has about a five-second lead over P2. 
And Marizan continuing to move forward here as he's going to make a pass here on this 47 car. Take a look at this, a 60 gap to the bottom line. And 47 giving him some room. He's on lap 74 yellow, and the yellow, 60 yellow. car getting by. And now we got another yellow flag here, man. These guys seem like they can race about 15 laps and uh, somebody decides they want to uh, spin around. As uh, maybe Ricardo Simonsato off the pace here. Also the 41 car off the pace. Take a look and see what happened here as uh, uh, Ricardo Simonsato Oh, and J.J. gets into the back of Simonsato and puts him. Nice. Oh, and then a secondary contact right there. Take a look here as uh, the 44 car. And J.J. going down to the inside and getting into the 44. And that's number two on J.J. And then J.J. comes back up the track. And there's more contact there. Secondary contact with some of those other guys. Uh, Yudishin uh, took a huge lick on that as well. He was trying to get through. Take a look at here at the 47. This is going to transpire. I think he's going to end take, taking a shot in the back end. See everybody getting uh, caught up here. He does get in the back of the 60 car. And then uh, there might have been contact there. 26 might have gotten into the back of him as well. He just had nowhere to go. Right there. Oh, and right into the back of uh, the 60 car. Where our race leader is Sean Jacobs in the 24 car, maybe trying to get a, a lap led here as some of these guys are on pit lane. Uh, Dana Grover in the 89 on pit lane. Good little battle there off uh, with the 26. It looks like uh, Dana Grover going to win that battle. Don't forget, uh, we've got a very special event coming up tomorrow. Uh, racing will start at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, broadcast about 9.30. And that is uh, Extra Life Children's Miracle Network Hospitals charity event at Yas Marina. A little multi-class event, VTCCs, GT3s. We'd love for you to come out. I've uh, been racing, uh, raising money and Will Dunbar putting on this event. I'll be broadcasting this live here on Turn Left TV at uh, about... Uh, I should say about 8.30. Did I say 9.30? Maybe uh, maybe 9 o'clock. I'll start at about 9 o'clock. How about that? But uh, racing starts at 10, p or 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're going to have a huge field uh, for that as well. So thanks to all those folks who have joined up 
you know, going to race with us. Love that deal. Love, 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 love that. So we'll see what we uh, we do on this green flag run here this time. It'll start to lap 81. We've got about 50 laps to go here when we go back green. Then we keep it green the rest of the way. Green flag, go, go, go. And Sean Jacobs is the leader, and he's got the 83 of Franco Alvarez up on the outside line. Alvarez using the outside to get by. Sean Jacobs at that Cal U sponsor machine. He's the 56 of uh, Gordon Carter now in P3. Alvarez gets the lead and oh, Gordon Carter diving down to the inside here, trying to get around. Gordon Carter on the inside line. A little board here with Sean Jacobs. You see that 56 car now gonna pick up a spot. Well, Camaro versus Camaro battle there, and uh, Sean Jacobs now back to the third position as Gordon Carter picking up a spot here. Now in P2. Yeah, big finish there for Gordon Carter. Look at this, Jomar Pichotto and uh, Jim Willis battling it out. Pichotto on the outside, Jim Willis on the inside line. And uh, looks like the uh, 68 car in this mix as well. Valdo is three laps down, however. A little bit off the pace there for him, so he's going to let those guys go. As you see, Dan Richter gets by. Also, Dennis Shudichin getting by. Nick Bears on here battling Tiago Gomez. Bears on in the 60 car. Magpul Dynamic sponsor machine. So Camaro versus Camry. And Camaro going to win out on that battle. Now moves up to the sixth position. Tiago Gomez having a pretty good night, though, here in seventh as uh, now... Marazon sets his sights on the 24 car. Good parity there. We got a, a Camaro, uh, a couple of Camaros. We got a Toyota. We got a Ford in this mix. There's a John Stanley in the Ford in the 12 car. He is running in the eighth position. Good quiet night here for him. He's going to be camping here pretty soon. He loves to go camping. And uh, that means we'll be uh, missing the uh, the Ford Mustang, number 12, Stanley Tools, sponsor machine out on the track some weekends. This 83 now opening up a gap, 2.4 second gap on the field. Look at this uh, battle here between the 60 and the 24. A couple Camaros here battling it out. As Marazon picking up another spot. It's go time for him. He's now up in the fifth position in this Magpul Dynamics sponsor machine. See some green flag pit stops here. Hopefully these guys get this uh, sorted out. And they get some green flag racing in. Alvarez and Tire Pro sponsor Cabero, our leader. Coffee Company, uh, Black Rifle Coffee Company, number 53, Jim Willis. To the outside, gets by Jomar Pochotto. Now picking up the ninth position. Pochotto back to 10th. And it looks like uh, Dan Richter, actually Dan Richter is uh, one lap down in the 13th spot. Lucky Dog is Ricardo Simonsato right now in the Lucky Dog position. And uh, that's where Dan Richter wants to be. And sort of settle down here. We'll take a look at the uh, fourth place car. Tracks VR number 89, Dana Grover. Having a good night here, running in fourth. Led some laps. The Toyotas there running together as uh, Michael Simonsato running in the third position. With, uh, Craig Marazon is starting to reel these guys in. And these guys start to get a little racy there just ahead. The uphill down this, uh, up this straightaway. Up to the crest of the hill. Not much downhill right here. It's going to go downhill 
a little bit on the back stretch. As the 89 now closing in on that 8X. Michael Simmons Sato recovering from uh, an earlier incident. Now finds himself in the third position as Dana Grover is in P4. And, uh, Craig Marazan is in fifth. Good tight battle here. Now Gordon Carter really leading this little charge of cars. Pretty uh, tight battle here as Gordon Carter in the Ukraine colors. High place moving sponsor machine. Leading that mix. 56 car having a good night. His first race back. Took a little break from the... Oh, man! Maybe you saw uh, me talking about him, and now he gets up the track. And uh, he was followed into the wall by Michael Simonsato, who's going to give up a position there. I think Dana Grover's going to get by. Man, that 56 car absolutely annihilated the wall there. Take a look here, Dana Grover. You take a look at the 8X, gets into the car. This was a little bit after the 56 car had made contact with the wall. Dana Grover going to capitalize. See, uh, he's going to get by Simonsato, but um, Simonsato lucky to hang on to that thing. And that 8X and the 60 car down on the bottom side, he's not been able to pull off that pass. And Simonsato holding on to that position, but you know he is dealing with some right side damage now in that 8X car. Dana Grover now finds himself in P3. A lot of air time tonight, man. He's got that car up front. But this guy right now is running away with it. By the way, I want to send a shout out to all the folks who uh, send a shout out to all the folks who have joined our Discord server as of late. Really appreciate that, man. And if you're interested in joining up and racing with us, uh, we'd love to have you. But, uh, man, what a uh, a huge number of drivers or uh, potential drivers we've had. There's a Discord address there. If you'd like to join our Discord and come out and race with us, we'd love to have you. Alan Boss here uh, in the chat session. As Franco Alvarez, leader, has got a 10, 11 second lead. These guys have been fighting it out behind him. And he is in control right now. We'll take a look at that Craig Marazon in the 60 car, and this is a cluster of cars back here. 97 laps in, good little run for these guys. And uh, now Marazon going to the inside here, trying to get around that 8X, back it off. Uh, but, man, we got some battle for uh, just ahead, the 56 and the 80. No, oh, man, these guys are getting after it. These guys are absolutely punching each other in the mouth right now. As the 89 clears that battle, looking out of the back of his machine, and what a uh, mess of cars there behind him. What a battle there. Simmons Sato in the uh, third position now. Gordon Carter falling back to the fourth position. Dana Grover is in P2. Take a look at that pass there. Look at this, man. This got crazy right here. As the 8X gets by the 56. Marazon trying to pull off the pass, not able to do it. Gordon Carter going to hold on to the fourth position. Good racing there. He said, now we're watching uh, back there as Gordon Carter and uh, Craig Marazon swapping positions. Gordon Carter going to try to do that crossover move on Marazon. Not able to work here. And now Sean Jacobs in this mix. Sean Jacobs smells blood in the water right now in the uh, 50, uh, 24 car. All over the back of the 54. On board here with Sean Jacobs. He's starting to put a little pressure here on Gordon Carter. As 
And Gordon Carter gets a good shot, slingshot off the turn. Gordon uh, holding on to that position for now. MP5, Sean Jacobs in the sixth position. Good battling here up front. John Stanley had gotten back by Jim Willis. 12 car running in the eighth position. Jim Willis in P9. And uh, looks like Simon Sato in this uh, mix. Now, Simon Sato is one lap down, but he is uh, swapping it around there with the 53. Dan Richter also one lap down. Steve Pierce is the lucky dog. 65 to the inside of Simon Sato. Good battling here. Four position. Both these guys one lap down. They're still side by side. Simon Sato, one of our Brazilian drivers. Dan Richter from uh, Indiana, United States. Racing capital of the world with Indianapolis Motor Speedway, of course. He likes Indy cars as well. Richter, a Purdue University student. And uh, these guys still side by side. Look at this, man. This is how you do it right here. These guys are getting after it. We're going to start seeing some green flag pit stops here. As now the uh, 65 car does finally pull off that pass. That is textbook driving by the both of those guys. Little Ford versus Camaro. Great driving. Gordon Carter on pit lane here in the 56 car. High place moving sponsor machine. Green flag pit stops for these guys. Gordon Carter seems to be the first one to come down pit lane. What a beautiful paint scheme that is by Gordon Carter. He's got some great talent there. Love those colors. They pop. 83 now rolling up on some lap traffic. This could be interesting. He does have a pretty substantial lead. 17 second lead on these guys. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Oh, no. Oh no! As you see, uh, 24 car had gotten back this uh, back by the, the 60. As uh, Gordon Carter made a pit stop, and the caution comes out. Take a look here as uh, Simon Sato. Oh my God, Gordon Carter coming off pit lane almost gets taken out. That would have added insult to injury. Take a look here as uh, Simon Sato goes up the track, gets into uh, the 65. And it comes across, oh my God, Gordon Carter almost got taken out in that. He's, already, he's a three laps down, but watch this. He's coming off pit lane. Watch this, he's gonna come out get off pit lane and he's going to see a whole lot of the 44 car right across the front of his machine and uh, he already knew when he heard the caution flag come out that uh, it was going to be a nightmare. Simon Sato is going to retire his machine but uh, contact there as Simon Sato gets into the 65 and comes down across and gets into that inside walk. Not the caution flag that Gordon Carter needed to see. He gambled a little bit with that early pit stop, and it bit it bit him. That was a good green flag run there. At least we were getting to the point where we're going to have some green flag pit stops. Pit road will be open this time for lead lap cars. So uh, Franco Alvarez had a big lead. I don't think he wanted to see that caution flag uh, either. All right, biology facts. Um, let's see, number three. Another genetic one, actually. Took the one off the so uh, top of my head. So. You know, they could actually take a gene from uh, a human and put it in other organisms like bacteria and get that gene to function. This is how they study disease. 
uh, in model organisms. So we can take that gene, put that same gene in another organism like bacteria or mice or roundworms or fruit flies and study a particular uh, problem. For example, uh, they study uh, the effect of uh, exposure to alcohol on embryonic development in humans on, um, it affects uh, how the eye is formed, actually, if the mother's abusing alcohol. Uh, you can study that in zebrafish, which is a little tropical fish that a lot of people have in their aquariums uh, that have tropical aquariums. So, uh, Jomar Pichotto, they're coming down pit lane. So you could actually study, because the zebrafish, of course, uh, goes through embryonic development outside the mother, and uh, the eggs are, and the zebrafish are transparent. So you can actually see how that exposure to alcohol affects the development of the eye, specifically the retina. There you go. Study uh, human disease even in yeast. You know, bread, uh, what they use to make bread with. Or, uh, baker's yeast. Got some of the same genes, right? A lot of those organisms are yeast, fruit flies, humans, mice, zebrafish, share the same genes or many different things. There you go. <laughs> wow, that that uh, that was a horrible joke. I have to admit, there will. Looks like we got 20 laps to go, and Data Grover is our leader after a pit stop. Franco Alvarez is going to start in the second position. Yeah, the model organism thing is really important to science, too, right? You know, that's how they figure out uh, different um, treatments for cancer and so forth and so on. So, you know, you can study cancer, of course, in uh, lab mice. Uh, you can uh, study cancer in fruit flies, even. You know, the advantage of that is they have a bunch of offspring and they reproduce very quickly. And you can actually take genes and, uh, you know, can shut off genes at will, shut off uh, proteins and so forth. Very interesting, actually. Green flag, go, Back go, to go. green. And what's interesting is that 89 car. Up front, Trax VR sponsor machine. 83, Franco Alvarez does not like running in P2. I can tell you that right now. He wants to lead this bad boy. But the 89 looking really, really good here. It took quite a while for Alvarez to be able to get around Dana Grover on the last uh, stint where he ran in P2. We are winding down the laps too. So you might imagine that uh, the 83 going to take a few more chances. He was patient on that first uh, stint there to try to get around the 89. But now going to take a few more chances here because time's a wasted. It's the 89 holding that outside line. Alvarez to the inside. Both these guys on fresh tires. The 89 car holding on to that position. Oh, the 89 car gets up the track. It's into the wall. That might give uh, Alvarez like, oh, oh, no, there's contact. Oh, they hold on to it. By God, they hold on to it. They held on to it. The 89 car got into the wall sideways, absolutely wrecked. And it did not wreck that car. My gosh, man. Wow. You've got to be kidding me, man. How did he hold on to that thing? How did he hold on? Willis about, uh, up to the second position. Data Grover, you know he's got to have some boogered up tires now and damage to that machine. What happened there? Let's take a look at that again. As uh, Grover into uh, down into Alvarez and then contact there up the track and Grover holds on to the thing. Alvarez holds on to the thing. How in the heck did that happen? Man? Take a look at this again. Another angle here, 89 chops down on him a little bit right there, and the 89 gets turned back around by the 83. And Jim Willis had a ringside seat for that one. 
Watch this. Jim Willis has a ringside seat. There's smoke going everywhere. Willis does a great job of getting around and picks up that spot. He's running into second position now. Holy smokes, man. Franco Alvarez to the lead. Dana Grover now dropping back. He's back to the eighth position. Took a huge hit on that one. Lucky he's not out of the race. We'll bring it out of caution flag. Alvarez, Willis, Jacobs, Gomez, and Simmons Sato, the top five. Winding down the laps here. Looks like we lost Ricky Emerson from the race. What a shame there. We lost connection. Four cars out of the race. Ricardo Simonsato, Jair Oliveira, Ed Palumbo, and Ricky Emerson all out of the race. As the 83, now a three-second, about a three-and-a-half-second lead over Jim Willis. Now back down to three. Willis in second. Jacobs is in third. Boy, that was a battle. It was a clean battle there. Just like uh, Grover had maybe a missed time that got down in uh, – over the um, right front um, fender of the 83. And that contact actually righted the ship for Dana Grover. He finds himself now back to the eighth position. Jim Willis in P2. Sean Jacobs in third. Gomez fourth. Simmons Sato is in fifth. Everybody sort of uh, chilling out right now, trying to bring this thing home here on lap 120. Now starting lap 121, 10 laps to go. Franco Alvarez to the lead. This battle here behind starting to heat up a little bit. Jim Willis and Sean Jacobs battling for position. Sean Jacobs has had a good night here at... Uh, at Nazareth, he should be good at it, man. He's a Pennsylvania native, native, and he's going down to the bottom line. That Cal U sponsor machine going to get around the 53. And that's the way you race right there. You saw a good, clean pass there. Jim Willis uh, didn't try to crunch him. And uh, gave Jacobs a spot. Then I'm going to try to get him back here, just get it gathered up, and try to get back by that 24 car. Now Sean Jacobs, textbook pass there by the 24. Probably got a lot of uh, family members out in the stands watching the race. You see, uh, you see, oh, where are they? Where the hell are the fans? <laughs> no fans there. Uh, kind of like real NASCAR. Too soon? 83 car is the leader. Uh, we'll take a look at uh, Dana Grover now running in the... Uh, Eighth position. Jomar Peixoto is in ninth, running behind him. Jomar had a pretty good night here, running in the top ten. Dan Richter is in tenth. Got back on the lead lap. He's had an eventful night, to say the least. As the 83 car yeah, is yeah, our yeah. leader. Oh, no! Preston Hassel off the pace. Preston Hassel off the pace, and I'm not sure what happened there. That 27 off the pace, and we got a late race caution flag. Got a little too comfortable there. So some contact maybe between he and Givaldo. Take a look and see what happened here. Oh, Givaldo, hard contact into the back of the 27 car. I hit the wrong key there, sorry about that. So the Givaldo just stays in the gas, gets into the uh, 27 right here, into the back of the 27 and spins him.
room will be open this time for lead lap cars. So uh, Franco Alvarez is the leader. Sean Jacobs in second. It's going to be interesting. These guys are friends, uh, pretty good friends here. So it's going to be interesting to see how this works out. Who's going to come down pit lane? So who is going to uh, start on the outside? Who's going to start on the inside? How these guys are going to race each other? Jeb Willis and Tiago Gomez, both those guys could be benefactors of this hard racing between the 24 and the 83, and you know it's going to be hard racing. Franco Alvarez is saying, hey, uh, Sean, just remember who painted your car. So this Tire Pro sponsor machine. Franco Alvarez does a lot of painting of cars. He's a great talent here, and he painted Sean's number 24 car. So we'll see how this works out. 24 has been pretty fast there in the short runs. He picked up uh, some positions, and uh, we'll see how that works out for him. I personally would probably take the outside line. I mean, lane choice is going to go to the 83, and I personally would take the outside line. Jim Willis will start in third, Tiago Gomez fourth. Fifth will be Michael Simonsato. Dana Grover's had a good night running in the sixth position. Looks like a green-white checker hitting us in the face here. And Sean Jacobs on the outside line as the 83 chose the inside line. Interesting. Green flag, green flag. Here we go, 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 back to green. Alvarez gets a good jump. Oh, man, Jacobs down to the inside. Alvarez to the inside. Oh, Dana Grover in the wall there off the turn. The 83. One lap to go when we start the, uh, or cross the start and finish line. It's the 83, one more lap to go for this 83 car. And he's cleared that 24. Gomez now up to the third position. The 83, Franco Alvarez. Coming off the final turn, Franco Alvarez in the 83 car is gonna bring home the victory here at Nazareth Speedway. I'm a little early on that. <laughs> there we go. As Alvarez gets the victory here at Nazareth. It being a great second half of the race, really. So uh, Alvarez doing the, uh, the drifting. Team Swoop. In victory lane again. Very interesting uh, hitch there when I did the uh, screenshot. Or something new whenever they update. Or 
Sports Studio 397 updates uh, R Factor 2. There's always some shenanigans. Franco Alvarez with a big win here at Nazareth. Started on the inside line. Jacobs was on the outside. An interesting restart it was. He got a great jump and came away with the win. So team swoop. Team swoop back in victory lane. Congratulations to uh, Franco Alvarez. Take a look at the final results. Franco Alvarez finishes in P1. Sean Jacobs second. Tiago Gomez, what a run for him. How about John Stanley climbing up the grid, working his way up the grid to finish in fourth at 12 car. Michael Simonsato finishes in fifth. Dan Richter sixth. Jim Willis finishes in seventh. Uh, Craig Marazon eighth. Dana Grover finishes in the ninth position. Joe Marpachotto finishes in tenth. Finishing in the eleventh position is Dennis Uterchin in the 47 car. Steve Pierce finishes twelfth. Gordon Carter thirteenth. Preston Hassel in the 27 fourteenth. Javaldo Spindle in fifteenth. Steve Ricardo in the 44. Carlos Simonsato finishes 16th, Jair Oliveira 17th, Ed Palumbo 18th, and Ricky Emerson finishes in the 19th position. We had uh, look like five cars out of the race tonight, one of them a, sort of a late exit. So congratulations to Franco Alvarez on getting the win at Nazareth Speedway. What a challenging track. So a great, great run there for him. And we'll see if we can't get him up here in the broadcast booth. All right, we're going to get uh, old Team Swoop up here in Victory Lane with us. All right, Franco Alvarez joining us up here in the booth and uh, a pretty good little uh, run there for you and had some great battles, good clean battles there. That battle with you and Dana Grover was epic. Uh, talk about how you felt here at a very challenging track, Nazareth Speedway. Hey, good night, Heat. Good night, everybody who's watching. Oh, man, my tire press Chevy Camaro was a rocket ship today. So fast. Really good on the corners. So, yeah, as you say, a really challenging track. Three completely different corners. Like uh, a Pocono style, I can say. On a, on a minimal space. But, yeah. Really, really great battles with uh, Ricky Emerson at the beginning of the race. After his technical problems, Dana, Cro Dana Grover came on clutch and he challenged me like really good actually great defense it was really difficult to pass him and yeah another good battle at the end it was a shame it ended that in contact but he got into the wall and then he closed the door so just a hard racing a racing deal so pretty happy with the race overall well it seemed like uh you I couldn't really predict what you were going to do on the restarts. Uh, sometimes you took the inside line, sometimes you took the outside line. Was there any rhyme or reason, uh, any strategy there on, on which lane choice you chose? Well, uh, at the start of the race, I started on the inside, and I didn't really thought that was the better lane. So next time I tried the outside, and I almost lost the position. So... <laughs> I then try again the inside and I saw it work, so I kept up with the inside. Yeah, I was just trying to figure it out where was the best lane to, to start. Now this is a very tough track. I mean, it's bumpy and um, 
it, it, there is no other track really truly like Nazareth, but it, it adds some challenges, a uh, little bit different flair or uh, flavor, I should say, uh, to our season running this track. And um, I think guys really like racing this track because they, they have to race it and they don't have to, uh, you know, get real aggressive with other drivers to try to make passes. They just uh, race the track. <laughs> I have to say, even though I was alone sometimes in the race, it was really challenging to keep the rhythm and the pace. Like, the track is really challenging. You have a turn one, which is really easy to just lose the, the apex. A turn, a turn two really long, where you literally are bumping all the way to the, to the exit of the corner. And you need to exit full throttle, otherwise you lose like two or three tenths. At the last corner, you can break really deep and just try to get the better exit possible. So. A really challenging track at three completely different corners. That's the best challenge this track. And it was really difficult to pass. That actually surprised me. That caught me off of, of board. Because when Dana Grover was in front of me, I actually couldn't pass him. I was trying in the inside on turn two. I was trying the outside on turn three. Nothing was working until he made a mistake. So actually a pretty good track to race to be, to be fair. Well, you know, last or next week we've got a, a very different track and one that a lot of drivers like is Talladega Super Speedway. That is a crapshoot there. Um, you know, how do you feel about the Super Speedways? And do you feel like, or you feel confident that you can put that car in position to win the race? Well, my Super Speedway experience has not been the greatest. I got to say, <laughs> I still didn't win a single race. So, yeah, just try to avoid the big one, basically try to avoid that big accident can, that can just take out the race and just be on the best possible position at the last laps. I think second or third place is the place to be. I don't think the leader has the advantage. So just try to be in the top five, top three of the last three to four laps and just try to make the outside work to make the passes. So yeah, just try to avoid the big one and stay on the, on the game with the last laps. Well, hey, congratulations, um, and, and also I want to say thank you for all you do here in uh, painting cars for drivers. Uh, you, you really have uh, an incredible amount of talent at uh, doing that stuff, and um, it takes a, a lot of work off of me, too. If I'm trying to paint a car, I can just send it to you, and you uh, do it the right way, I should say. So uh, you do a great job, <laughs> and I know the, the guys really appreciate that. So well, congratulations, and uh, again, thanks, thank you for, for what you do here. I appreciate the comments. I hope you guys like the new Black Rifle Company, Chevy Camaro from Jim Williams next week. And uh, also, I want to say good, happy birthday to Sean Jacobs, a pretty good friend of mine. <laughs> I don't think you guys know him. And I want to dedicate this win to Todd Robiller because of the time he is passing right now. So that that win goes to him. I see you guys next oh, yeah. next week. And Thank you, man. I really hope a good event tomorrow with the extra life. All right, thank you, Franco, and uh, enjoy. Thanks, buddy. Franco Alvarez up here uh, in the booth and uh, sending a shout out to Todd Robillard. And our, our definitely our thoughts are with Todd at uh, you know going through a little bit of a rough time there and uh, losing a member of his family. And uh, we all, I know here at High Octane Racing League and Turn Left TV, we all send out our uh, well wishes and prayers uh, to he and his family at this time. Well, we got some more racing headed your way tomorrow. Kicking it off early. That's right, early. Got a lot of guys from uh, Indonesia and that Asian theater and uh, European theater going to be racing with us tomorrow. We're going to have a multi-class event. It's the BTCC cars uh, and uh, the GT3 cars on the track at the same time. And uh, believe me, this is going to be a good one. It's the Extra Life Children's Miracle Network Hospitals Charity Race. Brought to you by High Octane Racing League, Turn Left TV, and Will Dunbar. And uh, racing will start at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. It'll be live right here on Turn Left TV. Don't want to miss that. And uh, it be a great chance for you to uh, maybe make a donation to the uh, Children's Miracle Network Hospitals, uh, the Extra Life Cause. And hopefully we can raise a lot of money for the kids tomorrow. We also have uh, the Saturday Showdown Series in action tomorrow at uh, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's Watkins Glen International 40-lap race, race number five of that season. 
and it'll be live right here on Turn Left TV. That's right, man. I'll be broadcasting tomorrow starting at 10. When that race is over, I'll be switching things over and getting ready for another broadcast in the Saturday Showdown Series at Watkins Glen. It'll be live right here on Turn Left TV, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Well, we said we'll be at Talladega Super Speedway next week here in the Bushwhacker Series. We'll kick off the back half of that season with a Super Speedway 70-lap race from Dega. And it'll be live right here on Turn Left TV starting at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's Dega. Tonight's race has been brought to you by EliteHostingUSA.com. If you're interested in an R Factor 2 server, there are three self-managed server packages for you to choose from. That's right. EliteHostingUSA.com can provide you with R Factor 2 servers, or how about your website hosted or your online store, VPS hosting, and shared web hosting also available to EliteHostingUSA.com. That's who provides our servers and our websites here at highoctaneracing.net. Don't forget to join us over there. You'll get a quick link to the Discord server where we do most of our league business. You'll get updates on point standings and schedules, what events we have going on, and also who's running what throughout the week, who's on the servers practicing, and you know what times you need to run. And you get a quick link to Turn Love TV. And thanks for joining us here on Turn Love TV. Greatly appreciate you being here tonight. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, smash the bell, share my videos with all of your friends on any social media platform where you can share YouTube videos. You're more than welcome to share mine here at Turn Left TV. And also, please click on the links in the description of this race. Got the Extra Life Charity uh, Children's Miracle Network, Hospitals link, also a PayPal link if you'd like to make a donation to Turn Left TV, and the Sim Lab website. I'm an affiliate marketer through Sim Lab, and I have a Sim Lab racing rig. And if you'd like to purchase a rig, or some racing equipment, please give them a look. And if you'd like to buy something, please use my link here at Turn Left TV. Well, that's going to do it for us tonight here on Turn Left TV. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm going to get out of here, boys and girls. I am out of here.